This is Fast Car TV. What have I let myself in for? What do you mean? It's the last time. Last time. Come on. So Elliot, we're here again. Can't stay, now, cannot stay away. So now, we're builders, right? Got 15 grand in our back pocket. Big bucks. Big bucks. Yeah. What VW are you gonna buy now? Or are you gonna put it all on black and then go and buy an R8? <laughs> Not a gambling man. Not a gambling mm. man. And actually, this is quite a safe bet. But, and I think there was nothing else really. 15 grand, Mark 7, Golf R. Um, Obvious. With a Mark 8, only been available in five door. I'll get a three door. Probably go manual gearbox as well, just for a bit of fun. Yeah. So tunable. It's a good looking car. Lowered wheels. Job done again. Job done. Do you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to go for an Arteon. Arteon. Yeah. Like 15. Yeah. I guess 15 yeah. grand there. You can get you can get one of them for that. I, I just I just love them. I just they love the way they look. Like 40 grand or something new, maybe more yeah. than that. Yeah. I just just looked at it for. I want it. Yeah, you like your big saloons, don't you? I really? do like my yeah. big saloons. Yeah, so you probably have more fun in a golf car. <laughs> but yeah, say, I'm getting yeah. old, so yeah. I like motorway munchers. So there you go, yeah. fifteen grand golf car, probably the better choice, better mm. than my RT on choice. But um, with, with the kids on the way. Oh, sorry, you could just stop it there. Oh, hello. Anyway, brings us on nicely to feature car of the week. What are you going for, Jules? I'm going to go for this Lamborghini Hurricane, which nice. we featured the other week, uh, other month in Fast Car. Crazy thing about this car, <clears throat> it's built for SEMA, and apparently it's built with, in a week. And considering it's got a Sheepy Race Stage 2 twin turbo kit on it, uh, a silhouette, <laughs> a Liberty Walk silhouette kit on it, it's crazy hard stuff. To, hard to believe. Well, got to be pretty serious power, I suppose. It's... Um, yeah, I don't think it was maps at this point, but I believe it's 1,050 bhp, so, and I wouldn't argue with those figures, no, to be course, honest. Of course it is. No back, no rear bumper. No rear bumper. Standard. If, yeah, yeah. If you've got two snails hanging out the back that spit flames, why, put, why ruin it with a bad, a bad no. bumper? Not that long ago, you had a supercar and you'd probably put a wrap on it, maybe a set of coilovers and wheels and that's wheels, it. And that's it, but now people like to cut, cut, cut them up, stick Liberty Walk kits on them. Nice photos. Yeah, they are. So yeah, a guy called Larry Chen shot that and actually it was um, a prototype shoot for Canon, lent him a camera, he's, he's that good. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those shoots you get in and you just couldn't, couldn't take your eyes off of it. But yeah, there we go. Go and yeah. check it out. So here we are, I've got product of the week and as you can see, it is an exhaust system. Oh no, of course it's not. It's an, it's an alloy wheel and it's from Bowler and it's uh, their B17. Now this is available from 17s right through to 19s in a load of different widths and it's available for 99% of the current wheel fitments out there as well. So if you've got a car, it's going to fit it. This is actually a 9.5 19 and it's in crystal silver. And Bowler say that's to give it a mega sharp look. Probably agree with them. It does look pretty sharp. I think this would suit a lot of cars. Again, G German cars mainly, I'd say. All this quality, how much does it cost? Well, 17s start at a very reasonable 625 quid. 18s start at 699. And then if you go to the big full fat 19s, they start at 895 pounds. It's great value. Fits a whole host of cars. Looks great. What's not to love? This week's mass debate, quite a controversial subject, built or built not bought. Built not bought. So what does this define built not bought? What does it mean? Did you did the work on the car yourself, you paid someone else or you bought the car well, already I've, done? Well, I've always interpreted it, it's you buy a car and you pay people to modify it. Yeah. Rather than buying a car that's already... Already done. But then I guess it works both ways, doesn't it really? I don't know about you, but I, I, I don't know. I put the fact that I don't work on my own car the fact I've never really lived anywhere that's had a garage. So I've never, I can't imagine me rolling around in the street doing mods and stuff. I don't know why there's such a stigma against paying people to do stuff to your car. Yeah. Great, if you can do that work yourself and you're capable of doing it. But you're, not, you're it. not a paint sprayer, you're not, you're not a no. trimmer, you, you've not got a ramp. So why yeah. make life hard for yourself when you can pay someone to do it? Have the ideas. And that's what I think. If you, it's as much about having the ideas um, as it is doing yeah. the work, oh, yeah. you know, but no, again, absolutely. each to their own. Some people like spending hours in the garage tinkering on the, on the cars. I like coming up with ideas and then 
get someone else to do it. Since I've had my, the E36, there's been a few little bits that goes wrong with it. And rather than pay someone to do it, I've, I've been, you know, done a bit of a YouTube, sort of go on YouTube, find out how to do it, get the parts and do it yourself. And it's, yeah. it's all right. For it's, me as well, it's, it's down to the finish. So like, a lot of the things I can do, but they just wouldn't be as good as if, if a someone, professional done it. Yeah. And you're supporting the industry. If probably when you're younger, you're not so bothered about yeah. the finish. And I think probably I used to do a bit more stuff back in the day. And now you're like, I just want it done done once, done right, rather than you do it, the car lets you down or something else. But then there's a whole buying a car done. I mean, how do you feel about that? Buying a car that someone else has done. Don't hate it. I don't judge people who do that because okay, so it's probably a better value thing to do. As long as you're not buying the car and then passing it off as, as oh, I did all this, I suppose that's, that's probably a bit naughty. But yeah, it makes sense. And you know, you're probably getting a better deal than the person that sold the car. They've probably yeah. lost money. And I think that's why people park their cars, park their cars out rather than sell them modified a lot of the time, which is a shame. There's always things that that owner who had it before wished they had done mm. or wanted to improve, but they just lost that enthusiasm. Yeah. And then the new owner gets hold of it. They've got renewed enthusiasm for this car and they just take it to the next level. Anyway, that brings us to the end of another cracking episode of Fast Car TV. Thanks again to my great guest, Elliot. Thanks for having me. So, um, Last time, that's it. Yeah, is that it? Four times? Well, it's, it's might, have, might have you back again one day. See how it goes. Yeah. It's been fun. Desperate. I mean, um, Easy. I mean, you're my first choice. Well, yeah, you're number one. As long as you're number one, that's, that's all right. So, okay. That's been good. Ta-da. Bye-bye.